scarlet blaze. The struggle commences. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officers' Academy closed its doors. Having ascended the throne of Adrestia, Edelgard has begun to enact sweeping change. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus now calls Dimitri its king, while Claude reigns over the Leicester Alliance. All three house leaders have found their wings as rulers of a new generation. With the whole of Fodland still reeling from these rapid changes, Edelgard decides the time has come to usher in a new era. People of Fodlan, the Empire will stand by no longer. Together we rise against a church that has become steeped in deception and corruption. The church has used their doctrine to deny you power and reshape Fodlan as they see fit. They thrust upon you the illusion of nobility in order to oppress who they choose. And they helped create the kingdom and alliance as a pretext for war. Finally, they teased you with the promise of salvation from pain they themselves inflicted and did so in the name of their own prophet. Well, I say no more. The empire has severed herself from their hypocrisy by restoring the Southern Church and nurturing her people's well-being. And today, we purge the world of their evil forever. We will retake Garrig Mach from the Central Church and stamp out any nobles who abet its depravity. By my title as Emperor Edelgard von Gressfeld of Adrestia, I hereby declare war against the false church of Saros. The past two years have flown by in but the blink of an eye. And while they felt short, they were certainly eventful. The Empire has come far since we removed Arendelle from power. We reformed the government, remedied our diplomatic troubles, and bolstered our military. And most significantly, we gave strength to the Southern Church, creating the perfect wedge against the Church of Saros. A shame our bishop has become the target of relentless censure as a result, while the Central Church even targeted him for assassination. Poor Count Varley. It could not have happened to a finer man. And then there's the matter of Lord Arendelle. What are he and his minions up to now? Slithering in the shadows of Fodlan, much as they have done for centuries. It will not be easy to drag such adept skulkers into the light. Perhaps not. Then for now, let's remain focused on the formidable adversary ahead. Did you call us here, Edelgard? It's good to see so many familiar faces. I did, and thank you for coming. This may be the first time I've seen all of you in the same room since the Officers' Academy closed. Likely, yes. We have all been rather busy marching down the separate paths life laid out for us. Or most of us have, anyway. Others, such as myself, managed to eschew work in favor of a more leisurely existence. Hey! I was working hard, and staying in my room, but still! Father's been dreadfully busy, so he's never home. Which has been pretty nice, actually. I was returning home to Bridget. I finished my task, and now I have been returned here. Well enough. Now, as you know, the Empire will launch its attack on Garrig Mach in the coming days. Emperor Edelgard will lead the invasion personally, and wishes for those present to form the backbone of her army. 
And as it has been some time since Adrestia had an army under the direct command of the Emperor, I fear we currently lack for officers. I trust each of you, and can think of no candidates better suited for the job. Will you do this for me? So you've got other plans for my father's army, I take it? Well then count me in. I'm ready to go whenever. I would have been happy with a life serving you here in the capital. But if war is coming, I want to see it through myself. I'll go wherever you go, your majesty! I'm always ready. Plus, it's good to know I haven't been training this hard for nothing. I've high hopes for you, and trust you will prove the wisdom of my decision. Just you wait. I'm gonna hurdle clean over those high hopes and show you what I can really do. Be certain to save some of your hopes for me, because I most assuredly have what it takes to succeed. And with that... New Empire Army, move out! Ferdinand, kindly leave the commanding and naming to me. <laughs> that reminds me. How tiresome.
Yes. Did you need something? Not happening. Oh. That reminds me. That reminds me.
What is it? Yes. think. Listen to this. succeed. Nothing to report. Anyway...
That reminds me. Actually... What can I do for you? You should hear this. to go.
result's a good result. What do you think? You see? you would. Time to work you into shape. Bridget, I find strength to carry on. Great things await me. For the fate of Fodlan.
Accept the gifts you're given. Sure beats doing it alone. A new power is now being mine. I need more strength than this. Well, look at that. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. Time to work you into shape. A new challenge that will be overcome. For training, you'll be unstoppable. Welcome. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 Hope to see you again soon.
Which battlefield are you headed to? Make sure you're ready. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. That felt good. Let's do it again. Power will serve me in the times to come. Only thorns left on this rose. Hope this is good for something. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Giving less than one's all is unacceptable. Guess I'll have to learn something new. boundaries who knew this power slept within training can be the difference between victory and defeat can't wait to see how you do Petra, off the train? I'll join you. That would give me much joy. An opponent with toughness will keep me upon my toes. You mean me? Nah, you're way tougher than I am. Also, aren't you a queen now? I didn't realize Dawn to Dusk training was part of the Bridged Royal Regiment. I have not become queen yet. But there is an understanding that it will happen. And yes... In Bridget, royalty must have knowledge of fighting. I mean, we must know how to fight. To be leading our people, a ruler must have more strength than any other. 
They must be the hardest to kill. My people are expecting this of me. So, it's the toughest person calling the shots, huh? I love it. What could possibly go wrong? This is how it is meant to be working. But such things do not always go with smoothness. Mercenaries are always seeking strength too, correct? And that's true. A merc lives and dies by the sword. If you're not better than the next opponent you face, they'll be the last one you face. Yes. Dying is without productivity. But it gives me surprise that you do not avoid jobs of danger. A queen must be facing any wolf who comes to her door. But you can have pickiness when selecting fights. Depends on how much food you can put on the table that week. Most of us mercs barely scrape by hand to mouth. End of the day, it's just business. Some mercs will take the coin and blow town, and some employers are more than happy to hang us all out to dry. I guess you don't have a lot of sellswords in Bridget, huh? Correct. We do not require the selling of swords. In Bridget, everyone is a hunter. Everyone is a fisher. Everyone is a warrior. There is no need to be hiring, or to be hired. That sounds incredible. In a place like that, nobody'd have to risk their life just to get a bite to eat. Your words give me great happiness. I will always be full of pride for Bridget. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable.
Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. Imperial forces, attack! I'll help you to the best of my ability. To me, Gurk, though it may be. You must be more careful. There's nothing we can do for you once you're dead. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. I can't say I like how this is unfolding. On to the next one. It's really exciting, but I will not be outdone. Retreat! Yeah, not bad. Begin. I will help. Here I go. No mistake, they must learn who they're up against. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Let's fight as one. I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. You got my back? I will guard your back.
Leave this one to me. That's my cue. My accomplishments won't need a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. You're worth a thousand soldiers. It's not over. Is that all we've got? Here goes! How does that please you? Just wait! Take a breather. We're not losing to anyone. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. This will really demoralize our enemies. This place won't be a problem anymore. Watch this. I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. I'm bringing it down. I'll take over. Take a breather. See? I'm not so bad. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. For your protection, Flame Spirit. I won't let myself stop here. Not bad. A new power is now being mine. The Imperial Army has invaded Burgundy, and will reach Garrig Mach within the month. With no way to stop their advance, we must ready ourselves for a siege. We sent the bulk of the knights away last month, after the Western Church occupied one of our sacred sites. The forces that remain are thin at best. How are we to hold the monastery with such short-handed numbers? 
It is possible the Empire orchestrated that entire incident to bleed off our strength. Look at how thoroughly information about it was buried, and how quickly the Empire invaded after declaring war. It all feels carefully calculated. I would not put it past them. If they bring war to our doorstep, they will want us on the worst footing possible. If the tides turn against us, we may have to abandon Garrett Mach. Never! Edelgard is already using the Southern Church to erode our legitimacy. And now she has the gall to try and remove us by force? There can be no mercy for tyrants. So help me, I would like to put her entire army to the sword myself. Is it truly too late to prevent bloodshed, Lady Rhea? Edelgard must have her reasons for doing this. If so, they elude me. The woman seems to consider our church's very existence an abomination. Yet she has gone to the trouble of reviving the Southern Church, which implies she does not mean to destroy the faith outright. Perhaps Garrick Mach is the true prize she seeks. Or worse, this entire invasion could merely be a precursor to conquering all of Fodla. Hmm. Her purpose matters not. Our charge is to defend the monastery at all costs. I took an oath. I swore I would never again suffer the boots of thieves to sully this land. Rhea. It is a low form of comedy we find ourselves engaged in this day. To think the descendants of their empire will be the first to invade Garrick Mach. All the more reason to prevent it. I care not if we shared blood countless generations ago. I will not permit anyone to defile Mother's resting place. Okay. 